we're going to learn how to make a jug shake. Now, I do know that there's like a hundred variants of these for some reason. I don't actually know what a jug shake is anymore, but check out my jug inspired edit. I'm a hot shot. Get your top drop. Top chef, we make it hot. And all you really need to do is just copy down my settings for the effects. So first of all, add on warp bubble, S underscore warp bubble to be specific and keyframe the amplitude to 0.3 at the beginning, head to the end or two frames back from the end and set it to zero, then graph it, just right click, ease in, then you can just pull it to the left slightly. And I've also pulled the one on the left slightly down and it's created a smooth graph. Then keyframe the shift start X and also the Y both to 3000 at the start and then head to the end again, zero, zero, right click both of these after highlighting them and ease in. I don't know why it's set to Bezier, it should be ease in, wrong setting. Make a note of wrap X and Y. We've set it both to no at the moment, but you might want to turn them both to reflect. If you want to get rid of these black parts around the edges, more detail on that later. Anyways, next you want to add on S shake and just copy down my settings once again. So amplitude one at the start, head to the very end and set it to zero. After doing that, just right click, ease in, or if it helps, you can just pull it to the left as well a little bit, just so you can tighten up and then pull this left handle down now you've got a smooth graph and then set the frequency to 16 and just like with warp bubble you can leave these both at no for the wrap x and y which will not hide the black parts around the edges if i do select reflect on both you can see that it creates some sort of mirror the reason why there's still some left is because we've set it to none for warp bubble so obviously if i set it to reflect it will hide all of it but we are going to go for none because it looks more like a jug shake open up x shake set it to 215 0.5 y shake 180 0.5 and for the z shake it should be 401.2 oh and of course the tilt shake so it should be 6 and 0.8 you can now close this as well and add on s flicker for this one i went one two frames ahead set it to one and keyframed it then head all the way to the end set it to 0.1 if you want to you can just simply right click ease in or you can go even further and pull this to the left creating a smooth curve and after graphing make sure to push this all the way to the back like so change the rand frequency from 30 to 50 and the final effect is s underscore distort chroma now this is entirely optional but it looks pretty awesome look at that this effect works really well with the warp bubble to create a stronger warp effect so for this what you need to do is head one frame ahead don't keyframe it at the start leave that for now so imagine this was not there i just copied it i meant cut so no keyframe at the beginning just head one frame ahead and then set it to negative 0.2 then head about one two three four five five or six frames ahead it would be less if your clip is shorter or more if your clip is longer then set it to zero and graph that just gonna ease in and also do make sure to pull it all the way to the left ensuring it's on level so the velocity should not go below zero and then you want to go to the start and set the amount to zero so now you have three keyframes in total then set the blur lens to 400 and i think you are done so it should hopefully look like this i know i should have mentioned this at the very start but my frame rate is 20 frames per second most of you are probably going to go for 24 or 30 and that is entirely fine but when it comes to jug shakes 24 and below is recommended so if i was to go 24 this might look a bit weird let's see how it looks yeah it's a bit too snappy and a bit too quick so maybe we could turn down the amplitude for a shake so maybe down to like 12 that might hopefully improve it obviously not maybe with the z shakes if i scroll the way down set that to one and that actually does look a little better it's still a bit too quick so maybe i could turn it down a bit more maybe to 10 for the frequency and also 0.8 for the rand frequency for the z shake so this is the result and it looks pretty decent but i'm going to stick to 20 and also 15 works perfectly with this style so anything between 15 and 20 is perfect for a jug style edit as always if you want this project file it's available for only 1.99 on my ko-fi and as always please read the description before buying but other than that thank you for watching and thank you to my monthly ko-fi supporters so i'll see you next time peace